VCon is just around the corner and surprises are coming with it. VFriends drops physical trading cards with VF2 mints. And what happens to these floors after May 12th? I'm Busy NFT. You're watching all things Web3. Hey fam, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. <gasps> VCon is May 19th to the 22nd and promises to be the NFT conference of the year. With many high profile celebrities, CEOs, and even sitting legislators in attendance, the limited capacity crowd is likely to rub shoulders in surprising ways. Even Gary has mentioned that, quote, many speakers are gonna stick around and sit in the crowd. He also hasn't ruled out surprise guests. A welcome party on Thursday kicks off the event with Gary offering to sign merch and do hours of selfies. There's concerts and after parties every night with TLC headlining the Friday night concert. You can also claim their free NFT on oneof.com, which gives you a chance to win free VCon tickets. Gary has also pumped the afternoon programming for Sunday and hinted at unofficial pop-up events for Sunday night after the conference. While the price for a VCon ticket has dropped dramatically since this all started, Many have asked about the collectability value post-conference. If Gary has a plan, he's not revealing much. One thing he does say often about the blockchain is that he can add utility at any time. We're already seeing that happen with the recently announced Compete and Collect physical trading cards shipping with every VFriend Series 2 Mint. These cards can be collected and traded and played like the classic game of war where cards are drawn simultaneously and the higher value wins. It seems simple enough, but these cards look great. And they would be hard to part with. Here's a look at some of the most powerful cards in the game. Perfect Persian Cat is the only unbeatable card in the deck. You can only lose this if it gets tossed into the pile during a war. No surprise that the Black Cat is near the top. And my good friend Notorious Ninja ranks pretty highly as well. Nice to see the new characters getting some love too. These cards are set to be shipped starting the week of May 16th, so you may have a chance to get them before VCon. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna even open mine. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So, the mint is over, the excitement's leveling off. Now what? If you're a flipper, things are winding down as inflation continues to eat away at disposable income. If you're in for the long haul, and I mean years, then it's party time. After May 12th, I see the floors dropping even further, at least the book games floor. People will be dumping book games after the raffles are over and won't have the patience to hold for whatever the next thing is. The window will be tight, and I'm targeting May 13th through the 16th as the best days to grab a deal. I really believe that VCon is gonna provide a spike and I wanna get in before that. But the floors are already feeling the effects of the mint closing. You have VF1 below 8 ETH. You've got VF2 below 0.7. VCon tickets are ridiculous at below 0.2. I predict a lot of regret for this one in the future. The book games floor is near all-time lows. You can find super rare tokens for a fraction of their potential value. If you really believe in what Gary is doing and that these projects will succeed, how can you resist these prices? Let me give you two book games that you should look at and maybe try and snag right away. This Ambition Hollow Caviar is a 1 of 12, and it's going for 0.62350. The next one of these for sale is sitting at 2.140. This Gratitude Bubblegum Caviar is a 1 of 12 also, and is going for 0.69875. There are three of these for sale for less than one ETH. Gary predicted this. In fact, he's been planning it. I want to kill all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Please clip that in context. I'm going straight to TikTok. <laughs> He did say he was gonna let things quiet down. This is that moment. If you missed VF1, this is your chance. If you missed VF2 Mint, this is your chance. 
This is the time that you have to do a gut check and determine what you really believe in regarding this space. A quick reminder that VF1 is still a huge arbitrage for those who meant it. VF2 is still a 2x for those that meant it. I haven't heard of a single 12 and a half book buyer that isn't flush from book games airdrops. Hey, you do you. I'm gonna do me. I'll be cranking out videos and going live from VCon as fast as possible. And I'm betting some alpha will drop there that will push these projects to the next level. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the notification bell so when I do go live, you can join and get your questions answered. Until then, Web3 is the future. Book Games is forever. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.